Hello, Kathy here. I received a recent uh, question from a viewer asking if it was difficult with the Plastec photo scanner. Um, once you have scanned some pictures, how hard is it to put the pictures onto a external drive or a jump drive, something like that? And it is very easy and I'm going to show you that now. Now I am going to have to use a Windows computer. I do not own a Mac, so I can't show you on that but I'm sure the process would be pretty much the same. Now you could use an external drive like I have here that has a USB, um, or you could use uh, a, a thumb drive like this one here, which is what I'm going to use. I am going to put it, my uh, right here is on the side is my USB. There we go. My USB is right there, so it's ready to go. Now let's let me zoom down here a little bit. Now you're gonna go to File Explorer. Mine happens to be down here. If you're on a Windows again, like I said, open your File Explorer. I'm running on the two monitors here. So this is on the left. This is my file explorer. This is my uh, computer, my hard drive, Windows C. Um, D is what I use for my recovery drive. You may or may not have that on your computer. And then it's just going to show up on your list here in your file explorer underneath, somewhere underneath your Windows. And so for me, it's showing up right here, USB drive E. That's what it called it. I'm going to click on that. I clicked on that to see uh, what's already on this drive, this thumb drive. I have some pictures that I've worked on for my dad, and when they were ready to print, they're in there. And then this is the software for the thumb drive itself. So we are going to make a new folder. Anywhere here in the white space, right click, come down to new, and then over to folder. We're going to give the folder a name. I will call it um, practice folder. Okay, so we have a practice folder there. That's where we are going to save our pictures to. Now, coming back over here, somewhere when you installed the program, if you left everything to the default settings, you ended up with an icon that looks like this for the scanner itself. And somewhere they put a folder that says Plustec Photos. And this is where all of the scans from this, this is the software here, the, the blue one here. Do you need me to zoom in so you can see that? This is the software for the scanner itself. And this is where all the folders uh, go once you've scanned the pictures. This is where all your pictures go. So here are, um, let me zoom back out again. Here's the folders that I've been working on. Now you can save an individual picture. We could pick an individual picture from here. Like say we could pick this picture up here in the corner of my mother-in-law. Let me double click here. Double click open. This is my mother-in-law, her brother, their mother, and her uncles on a trip they made as children to Scotland. Now, if we wanted to save just that individual picture, if we wanted to pick and choose which pictures here we wanted to, to save, we could do that. Um, I'm going to, or we could save the entire folder. First, we'll just save one picture. I'm going to right click on this picture. And I'm going to come down to where it says copy. Select that. And then I'm going to go back to my file explorer, pick my drive E, open that back up. And again, we're going to work off this practice folder. I'm going to double click to open it up. There's nothing in here yet. 
but the wheel once I right click and go to paste. There's our picture. Now let's say I wanted to save the entire folder there. Process would be exactly the same. Let me minimize that. Now let me go over here and use these arrows to go back one. I'm going back. Okay, now here was the folder that I got that picture from. I'm going to right click again, just like before. On the folder itself, I'm going to go to copy. And I'm going to go back down to my file explorer and over to the practice folder. Okay, we're in the practice folder. You know that because it says USB drive E. That's what we're working off of is the thumb drive. I'm in the practice folder. And I'm going to right click, paste. I'll give it a minute because it's got all the pictures now. And now there's the whole folder. So you can save individual images or you can save the entire folder. And like I said, you can save them to uh, an external hard drive itself or a jump drive. You could also um, save it to a picture that, um, I mean, to the pictures folder on your computer, which would be, you know, right here. Let me zoom in. Again, that'd be working off your file explorer, or you could get to it probably from your menu, but it, I just always use the file explorer. You could go up to your pictures and you could make a new folder in here somewhere. Same process as we've just did by right clicking and going to new folder. You could also use um, these pictures that you've just now saved. Uh, you could use them to email to someone, whatever you'd like to do there. Now, when you are done, for my computer anyway, so I'm going to assume this is going to be the same on yours, um, you never just yank this thing out. When you're all done, you've saved it. It's in the folder. We've we've double checked. So let's go back again. This is, I'm in my, my practice. Oh, let me get out of there. Go to here. Going to my drive E. Practice folder. And there's the folder and the individual picture. Now I'm going to close this. I'm done. Like I said, you never just yank and pull this out. You might get lucky. Maybe you've always done that and no, have had no problems. Um, I just know with the scanner software itself, for sure, when you have your scanner plugged into your laptop, when you are done, you have to go through this process to get out. You never just yank the cord out, let me tell you. Because I took me a long time to get my computer functioning after I did that the wrong way. So down here on the bottom, you'll have, um, like I said, this is a Windows computer. I go to this... I, left click here and then I go up to uh, this little thing here this looks like a jump drive click on that and then go to eject the jump drive and now a little sign will pop up telling you that it's unplugged if you have um, this is my virus protection but um, something will probably show up on your end from the windows itself if it's not from your virus protection software and then I say OK, and now I can pull it out and we're done and the pictures are saved. I hope this is helpful. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Thanks.